The Democratic Republic of the Congo, DRC, is a land of unimaginable natural wonder, from the towering mountains to the dense, lush rainforests that cover much of its landscape. But perhaps the most remarkable feature of this vast country is the mighty Congo River, a true behemoth that cuts through the heart of Central Africa. If you're fascinated by the natural world and its incredible power, be sure to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. That way, you won't miss any of the incredible stories I have to share about the DRC and its remarkable natural resources. The Congo River is the second largest in the world by discharge, dwarfed only by the legendary Amazon. But what makes this river truly special is not just its sheer size, but the incredible power that lies within it. Hidden along the river's winding course is a place of staggering natural force, the Inga Falls. Imagine standing at the edge of a 15-kilometer stretch of the Congo, where the water plunges nearly 100 meters downward, creating a thunderous cascade of whitewater rapids that are among the most powerful in the world. This is Inga Falls, a natural wonder that has captured the imagination of engineers and visionaries for over a century. The roar of the water echoes for miles, a testament to the raw, untapped power of this remarkable natural feature. You see, hidden within the raging torrent of the Inga Falls lies the potential to transform the entire African continent. Experts estimate that if the power of these falls could be properly harnessed, it could generate an astonishing 40 gigawatts of clean, renewable electricity. To put that into perspective, that's nearly 50 times the current energy consumption of the entire Congolese population. Tapping into this vast resource could be the key to unlocking sustainable development and economic growth across Africa. As the dream of electrifying remote villages and powering burgeoning industries takes shape, there's a flicker of hope igniting in the hearts of millions across the continent. Yet, amid the promise of progress, there lingers a shadow of uncertainty regarding the project's execution and its long-term implications for both the environment and local communities. It's a mind-boggling amount of potential, one that the DRC government has been dreaming of unlocking for decades. In the 1950s, they began construction on a pair of smaller dams at Inga, known as Inga Wand and Inga Siku. Together, these dams were able to generate around 2 gigawatts of power, a significant achievement. However, political instability, lack of investment, and logistical challenges hampered further progress, leaving the grand vision of harnessing the full might of the Inga Falls unfulfilled. Yet, despite the setbacks, the allure of Inga's untapped energy reserves continued to captivate the imaginations of engineers, politicians, and dreamers alike, fueling the persistent belief in the project's potential to revolutionize the region's energy landscape. But these initial projects barely scratched the surface of what's possible at Inga Falls. Positioned on a side channel rather than the main body of the river, Inga, Wai, and Saiku could only harness a measly 5% of the fall's total energy potential. And over the years, even that limited output has dwindled, with the aging infrastructure falling into disrepair. Now, the Congolese government has an even grander vision, the Grand Inga Dam. This would be the largest hydroelectric project ever undertaken, dwarfing even the famous Three Gorges Dam in China. The plan is to build a massive barrier across the southern end of the Inga Falls, essentially turning the entire Bundy Valley into a gigantic reservoir. As the sun sets over the Congo River, whispers of excitement mingle with concerns about the environmental impact and displacement of local communities. Yet, amidst the anticipation, there's a palpable sense of awe at the sheer scale of the endeavor. From this reservoir, Six separate power stations would be constructed, each capable of generating between 4 and 8 gigawatts of electricity. If completed, the Grand Inga Dam would have a total generating capacity of 40 gigawatts, more than twice the output of the Three Gorges. It would be an engineering marvel, harnessing the full force of the Congo River to power economic and social transformation across the African continent. 
Imagine the impact this could have, providing clean, renewable electricity to millions of Africans currently living without access to power, powering industries, lighting homes, and driving economic growth in some of the world's most underdeveloped regions. It's a vision of a more prosperous, sustainable future for the continent. But of course, a project of this scale comes with immense challenges. The estimated price tag is a staggering $80 billion, more than the entire annual GDP of the DRC. There's simply no way the Congolese government can shoulder this burden alone. International cooperation and investment will be absolutely crucial to making the Grand Inga a reality. Fortunately, there are signs that this support may be forthcoming. Several African nations, including economic powerhouses like South Africa and Nigeria, have already expressed interest in contributing funding in exchange for a share of the electricity generated. Major financial institutions like the World Bank, the European Investment Bank, and the African Development Bank have also signaled a willingness to invest. Furthermore, renewable energy companies from around the world have shown keen interest in participating in the project recognizing the immense potential of harnessing the continent's abundant solar and wind resources. International cooperation and technology transfers are expected to play a crucial role in making this ambitious plan a reality. But even with this outside support, there are no guarantees. Massive dam projects have a history of spiraling way over budget and the Grand Inga could end up costing closer to $160 billion when all is said and done. There are also significant social and environmental hurdles to overcome, including the relocation of over 30,000 local residents and the potential impact on vulnerable wildlife like the bonobo ape. So the path forward is anything but certain. But for those who dream of a brighter future for Africa, the potential of the Grand Inga Dam is nothing short of transformative. Harnessing the raw power of the mighty Congo River could lift millions out of energy poverty, spur economic development, and provide a truly sustainable energy source for the continent. It's an audacious, visionary project, the kind of big, bold thinking that Africa needs right now, but pulling it off will require careful planning, meticulous execution, and a level of international cooperation that has sometimes eluded this region. The stakes couldn't be higher, but the rewards could be truly game-changing. This ambitious initiative has the potential to transform the continent, unlocking new economic opportunities and positioning Africa at the forefront of global innovation. With the right resources, expertise, and commitment from stakeholders across the public and private sectors, this project could pave the way for a more prosperous, sustainable, and equitable future for the people of Africa. What do you think? Is the Grand Inga Dam a revolutionary idea that could power Africa's future? Or is it an overly ambitious pipe dream? I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this deep dive into one of the world's most ambitious infrastructure projects, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe for more fascinating stories from around the globe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.